Hi there everybody, it's UK independent demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today on another Saturday series. So on a Saturday I just grab a stamp set and just go wild really. Um, no plan, no previous examples, just wherever the craft and creativity might flow. I've got all my stuff around me and I have my zany zebras in front of me. So this is a cling stamp set that's available in the new Stamping Up annual catalogue and is available from my store, slimandstylish.com. Go to the header and click buy and you can add anything that I use today into your basket, okay? So, first card up. This is going to be a tough one, by the way. I've already worked out this is going to be a tough one because I love all three of them. So I'm never going to be able to pick which stamp I want to use. Um, but I know I've used him before, so I'm going to count him out at the moment. I, just, I might go for that one. So I've got a scrap piece of Whisper White because I think I'm going to want to die cut him out at some point, maybe. Let's get him inked up and have a look at him. Must have used him before and put him away a little bit dirty. There we go, get him stamped. Oh, he's gorgeous. I don't know what a baby zapper is. Is that a foal as well, like a horse? I'm not exactly sure. So I'm going to die cut him out using uh, stitch rectangles, which are lovely. So I'm not sure which size is going to, that's going to be far too big. Mm. Yeah, he fits in that, but it's a bit tight, isn't it? I want him to have some room. Yep, that one. Oh, he's just so adorable, isn't he? He looks so inquisitive. I think he's really sweet. So let's run him through my big shot. I'm going to be doing my die cutting off screen purely because my big shot, um, when I use the cranking handle, it knocks the camera. There's not enough room for me to pop my big shot on my filming desk. So I actually have it on the desk to the side and do it off screen. Hopefully, when we get the new mini cut emboss, that will change and it will fit. So our stitch rectangles are great because they stitch around the outside. So if you put them into the middle of the card, you'd have a stitched frame. And then they also stitch on the inside as well, so they catch a, whatever it is you're cutting out. And I would advise having your paper piercer near so that you can just start edging him out because he does stick on those stitch bits quite well and you just want to make sure he comes free. Come on little zebra. There we go. Yeah, he's quite cute. Do I want to add any colour with him? No, I think I'm going to keep it monochrome. I think I'm going to keep it black and white because he's black and white. Happy birthday. I've got a birthday coming up, so that's actually good timing. I can finish him and put him straight in the post. What a plan. So I'm actually going to stamp it directly onto him or onto his bit. I quite like the font on that, it's quite fun. Right, I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is um, 10 and a half, no, 14 and a half centimetres by 10.2 centimetres. I do remember these things. I'm gonna do some masking, I think. So I'm gonna line that up on my grid paper. Grid paper is so handy. Two inches across. 
you can actually buy our stamping up grid paper from the store so even if you're not a demonstrator you can get it if you think it's helpful to you and i think it's just so useful i'm going to grab a bit of scrap whisper white purely because i'm going to be stamping off and i don't want to get my grid paper grubby i'm going to grab the little party hat i'm going to grab the stars and i'm going to grab you party animal And I'm going to create my own sort of DSP out of these three at the back, I think. I don't know how this is really going to work, but we'll get there. Do I what? No, I'm going to go smoky slate. So I'm still keeping it black and white, really, but I'm doing it in grey. And... I'm going to stamp you party animal randomly and I'm going to put a hat on you party animal and some stars around it and I'm going to keep doing that. I'm actually going to just keep you party animal and the hat together and then the stars can just go random you know, wherever they fall. quite like that so how have you been enjoying my Saturday series started it a few weeks ago now I've done three or four I'm actually quite enjoying it it's it's breaking me out of my comfort zone a bit because I usually create a card and then when I like it decide to film it I of course don't know whether I'm going to like this or not until it's finished but um that I think is making it quite fun so I'm actually quite enjoying it what about you guys? I'm just I was thinking about putting some watercolour pencil maybe around it, but I do I do just like wanting to keep it black and white actually. So yeah, I just like it like that. That's where I'm gonna stick with it, I think. Ribbons we've got this gorgeous um like pearlescent ribbon i'm trying to think of the name of it it's a shimmer ribbon oh it is just called shimmer ribbon um that is smoky slate so i'm actually just going to add that around the back of the card just for a little bit of texture so where i know that my zebra is going i'm just going to pop the adhesive because it doesn't matter if anyone sees it there because my zebra's going on top of it. Run that around that bit. There we go. Okay. I'm going to stick this flat onto my card, I think. So I've got a piece of thick whisper white cardstock that I have cut in half, scored in half and I'm ready just to burnish. I'm going to stick that onto there. Flat. Pop him up on some dimensionals. Card number one. Cute. Like that. Right. Card number two. I'm actually going to be doing this on black cardstock, I think. So I'm quite glad I've got that handy at the side. So I've got some black cardstock. This is 10.2 centimetres by 14.5 centimetres. So I tend just to have stacks of cardstock um, so I can just pick it up and go. Um, Germany use the same zebra again, just for fun. So I'm gonna clean him off, and I've got my Versa mark and my embossing buddy. Oh, 
halve my scrap paper because trust me it does make it easier um, embossing buddy first My embossing buddy started leaking quite bad as you could see which I'm fine with because it means it's getting lots of dust on there but it does leave it a little bit sandy afterwards so I just want to get all the fine grains off so that this goes on smoothly and I'm going to stamp him on stamp him on the corner there And have I got some Whisper White? I have. Pop it over him. I'm quite excited about doing him on black purely because, um, you know, he is a zebra. There we go. Isn't he cute? So I've got my heat tool here. So if you're listening to me and you've got me up loud, you might want to turn me down just a little bit because... Uh, I'm going to be noisy. So I just leave my heat tool just to heat up a little bit off the actual card because it does warp the card and then bring it in when I know it's hot. There is him and I'm putting my um, die cutting plate on top of him because like I said it does warp the card and it does start to bend a little bit and by popping something heavy on it as soon as you've done it it's just gonna make it go back straight while I'm thinking about my next bit so where am I gonna go with him Am I staying with happy birthday party anymore? Yeah, I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to do um, you party animal in the Versamark. And I'm also going to pop um, the party hat on top of it too. I'm going to do that down the side here. party animal and I can just about see in my light where I've put it so I know where I'm putting my hat and I've also got my stars from the previous one it's just come off the just down the bottom of my desk here, by the way, I have my chamois. So that's what I'm doing under the desk. I'm just cleaning them on my chamois. There we go. And I'm going to actually stick a couple more just around him. Just for fun. Oh, he is cute, isn't he cute? I think he's cute. Right, I'm going to be heat embossing again, people. So now I've finished with him, I'm just going to do that again while I uh, pop this in, thinking he might also get the stitched rectangle um, job going. Let's see if I've got a 
slightly bigger one than the one I used before. Yeah, I think he's going to be going under the big shot machine as well. So. I need my plate back. And I'm just going to run him through off screen. But this is with a slightly bigger rectangle. You party animal, you. <laughs> so I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is um, nine and a half centimeters by 13.85 centimeters. So I'm gonna actually pop him on there, but I'm gonna use the hat again. And where's my scrap piece of paper? There it is. My memento. And I'm going to put the same, same sort of picture I put here on the bottom here. And I'm going to go all the way around the card with it to create another DSP background. And the hat on top. Do you know if they'd have given us one stamp with this hat on top of the sentiment, I would not have been happy with it. I'd have been like, well, they should have given us it separate. But now I'm thinking, I want it just attached to it because I quite like it. <laughs> oh, that one's going to go over. Oops. with that that might look really really messy at the moment but hopefully once I've got my little guy on it's gonna look a lot better and I think it does yep so I'm gonna stick him down on there and I'm gonna stick him down flat and he actually covers that mistake that I made so I'm quite happy about that there we go, and I've got some more basic black here. So am I just going to make myself a black card, or no? I'm still going to stick it onto the white card. I like white cards because I can write in white cards. So I'm going to cut this down to 14 and a half centimeters by 10.2 centimetres stick that onto there and stick it so it's flat I'm not going to bother with dimensionals or anything I'm just going to make him he's already quite jazzy Um, Whisper white cardstock cut in half, scored in half, and I'm just going to fold and burnish it. I actually just have a stash of these at the side of the table and just grab from them. So there we go. There's my little party animal card. Quite like that. So where am I going to go next? Should I stick with the black and white, or go monochrome, or go all different colours, or? sure I feel like I'm in a good theme at the moment card one card two I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go mad crazy mad so I'm just gonna bring this back in I'm gonna cut this bit again um, 
14 and a half by 10.2. Yeah, I'm just going to go all over the place with this. Your mind bottom, buddy. Um, I'm going to try not to put my fingers on any of this now because I'm going to go all over this card with um, with zebras. And I'm actually going to use the same zebra just for fun feel like it's featured in the others it's going to be featured in this one so I'll pop them in the same place as I popped them in the other one and then as I said I can see um, in my light roughly where I've popped the first mark before with them so I'm just going around them and popping a load of zebras down. White embossing powder all over that. I want to get some more on him on the side. He doesn't look like he's got very much on him. There we go. I'm just going to grab my big shot plate. These come in so useful for so many different things, don't they? Just smudged him down there, so let's tidy him up a bit. So if you see that you've got any loose, just just brush it off. It's no problem. Should have pre-warned you to turn me down again. There he is, absolutely covering my card now. <laughs> so let's pop that on top while I clear up. A little bit of a hint from someone who does this regularly. Um, always pop away your embossing powder because if you knock this over, trust me, it goes everywhere. Um, and there's never a way of getting it all up. The vacuum cleaner is not that much help. So there he is, I'm going to stick him straight onto my card. So again, this is just a piece of Whisper White, cut in half, scored in half, and I've just burnished it. So I'm going to stick him straight onto there, because you know, he's just lovely. I'm going to pop a bit more glue than usual on him, because I've heat embossed him all over. And he is a bit bent because of the heat, so I want to keep him completely flat on the card. So that's why I've gone to town on the glue on him. Stick him down. There we go. And how are we going to decorate him now? So I've got some. Yeah, I've got some black left over and we've got loads of Whisper White hanging around, so. My scrap Whisper White is here. 
chop that down at one and a half inches. No, one and a quarter inches. Sorry. So I'm then going to do the black at one and a half inches. The black is three and a quarter inches so this one here is going to be sorry the black's three inches so this is going to be two and three quarter inches I struggle to tell you whether where the measurements are on my little guillotine so that's why I'm I always get it wrong when I use that I, I just struggle to tell you where they are so memento happy birthday Simple, simple. Well, it's not really simple because I've embossed about several hundred zebras onto the card, but it is still keeping it quite two tones, simple colours. I like it. So there you go three cards one, two, and three, all using the gorgeous Zany Zebra stamp set. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up, um, comment and let me know you've liked it. Um, do subscribe and I will see you again next Saturday for another Saturday series. There's also some videos that come out during the week as well, so look out for those. And I'll see you all soon. You can purchase any of the items I've used today from my website, slimandstylish.com. Go up to the header and click buy and if you want any of the catalogues, let me know and I'll pop them in the post to you. See you all soon. Bye.